Hi, Hi guys. guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Sitting Down with the Sisters podcast. We are your hosts. My name is Temi. My name is Ayo. And I'm Ashley. Hi. <laughs> And thank you for 1,000 subscribers. Honestly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we can't believe it. Thank you so much. Honestly, we appreciate every single one of you guys, man. Supporting us. Thank you. Look at the way she's dancing. What's she doing? Thank you to every single person that literally pushed every episode. You promote it on your Instagram, your Snapchat. You share it with your friends. It's because of you that, you know, we were able to reach the 1,000 subscribers mark. So, mm-hmm. thank you again. And keep a lookout because we've got some changes coming to the channel. All right? Yeah. We've got to just keep your eyes. I can't wait to share it with you guys. With you. Oh, and I'm in excited. our upcoming videos, we'd love to have some participation. We've been thinking, right, we might want to do a live. If you're down for the live, comment down below. Mm-hmm. Um, we'd like to show, like, shout out the people that we notice every time in the comments as well. So... Just stay tuned. We've got things coming yeah, for you. But today, very exciting stuff. We're going to talk about an interesting topic. All right. Today, what the topic is essentially: should you be more loyal to your man than your girls, or should you be more loyal to your girls than your man? And in the same kind of vein, should your girls should sorry. What am I saying? Should your girls be friends with your man? Like, should they be really, as in friends, friends, not just like, like close. yeah, should they have a relationship yeah. with your man or should it be, um, mm. we started talking about it before we even started because it was already juicy, do you know what I mean? So, girls. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation, I can't lie. So, I feel it like is, it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might, I feel like maybe we might have different point of views with certain things, we but we'll see anyway, we'll see anyway. I think so, so yeah. Right. Well, Whoever wants to go, who wants to go first? Go on. So wait, what's the question? Like, which okay. Okay, what's the first yeah. question? Let's deal with. Should you be more loyal? Mm, actually, okay. Which one's more? <laughs> because I think maybe we should start with should your girls be friends with your man? Because that's like the base, and then yeah, and that then stems into loyalty the, and yeah. all that good stuff. Yes. Okay. So what should your friends be? What like close, close friends? friends with close, your should man? they have a relationship with your man? Who wants to go first? <laughs> Do you know what? I've already got my answer. <laughs> oh, so go for it, baby girl. I will say yes. Okay. And the reason why I can say yes is because I think of the type of friends that I have. Um, and so it's not like an issue for me. Like, I'm not worried. Like, there's no... I feel like the people who would say no... I think it kind of stems from, I don't want to say every, I don't want to say every girl, but I feel like it can stem from insecurity. Mm -mm. Um, And so the reason why I can say yes, I feel like me anyway, you guys, you two and my other female friends can be friends with my man. Um, It's because the way I love you girls, it doesn't really make make sense. Do you know what I mean? And the, the way how close we are and the sisterhood we've established is like, how can my man not, how can you guys not become like his sisters mm-hmm. in a sense as well? Do you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that, oh, when it's three in the morning, you guys will be calling him up. The, the, like, they'll, do you know what I mean? There'll be boundaries. That's what I'm saying. You guys have that. You have the common sense. You have respect. You'll know. Um, when to involve yourself, when to take a step back. Yeah, so that's why I can say yes, that mm-hmm. I would want you guys to be close friends, like mm-hmm. with my man. If yeah. it's going, my man going towards marriage anyway. Of course. Like, yeah. That was, not just that any was, random that's guy. That's what I was going to say. That's yeah. what I was going to say because I'm not going to lie. I feel like, let me know, guys, I feel like we're at the point in our friendship where I'm sorry, I'm not bringing anyone to you guys I'm not trying to marry. Period. So. <laughs> Period. We don't have time to wait, sorry. Because if you see me, if you see me talking to someone and I haven't introduced you, it's just a friend, guys. <laughs> if I get that. That tells us everything we not, need to know. To be fair, like, I'm, if he's I'm not been brought you, around. You know, if I haven't told you about a man, if I haven't said to the guy, this is how I'm feeling, I'm at the age now where don't even end up. Listen, it's not like I'm not telling my girls. It just means there's nothing there. It's not that. Mm-hmm. It's not that. 
You don't see yeah. it even going. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think it's gonna be a rela- like. It's not even gonna lead to a relationship. Not even just talk mm. of marriage. So we're yeah. just we're just gonna be friends or something. But it doesn't look like it. But my opinion mm. is, I I hundred percent agree with Ashley. I would want my friends and my man to be. Should I be honest? I'll call it cool. Of course, I want them to be very cool. I want it to be a thing where if I'm not there and my man sees any of you girls, like say he's driving or you're like, you could be able to pick them up, take them home. Do you know that kind of thing? Like, yeah. Like each other. But I do understand people that don't because at the end of the day, not everyone is privileged to have certain types of friendship groups. Mm, yeah. They might have the opinion where, you know what, well, um, I, I don't want, you know, that kind of relationship between my girls and my man. I just feel like, I can't imagine myself. I can't imagine myself dating a guy that doesn't know boundaries between my friends and himself. Like in terms mm. of, and the same, literally what Ashley says in terms of you girls. I know, like we've been friends for so we know when it comes to boundaries. We know, like you said, you're not going to be calling my man at three in the morning for no reason. Mm, exactly, so, unless there's an emergency. So, Come on, right? Yeah. And you're planning like I don't a know surprise, my engagement. Surprise, you know I'm stuff. saying exactly. You know what I'm saying so that's a bit different. So, <laughs> of course, like you can be. Of course, you can be very cool. Like there's nothing wrong with that, hundred yeah. percent. But like, as everyone understands boundaries, so there's nothing there to have to control. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. yeah. I, my view. And it depends it. what we mean by close friends. But I'm sure by close friends we mean like you're just very calm with them. I'm you're sure. Cool, you're yeah. Like besties. Do you know what I mean you're just calm, like really good. Yeah, exactly. My view on it, I don't want to repeat what they've said because obviously we're kind of similar. The only thing I would introduce into the mix is like you also have to take in consideration the type of man you have, because some guys they're not <laughs> really looking to be friends. Me. It's not even that. I wasn't even gonna say that. I'm saying some guys are not really looking to be friends with the girls of their girl. Like not in a rude way. It's more like i don't know some guys are probably gonna be like that's your girls yeah like it's like that's your girls these are like i get that i'm saying and they probably but for me the kind of babe i am it's like i want i would want him to be like a brother to them like as temi said if they needed a lift like they could like and he saw them like he would do that in a heartbeat or like when we all chill together it's not awkward and he's just sitting there like i'd want him to like be in on bands and everything like that yeah be involved Like just be a brother, do you know what I'm saying? To the to yeah, especially if that's someone, if that's someone that's meant to be there for the rest, someone that you're planning on marrying. These girls were they've been in my life way before you came in, and everyone needs to get along for the sake of it. Not just get along just because they have to, but get along because they're genuinely good people. Of course, we vibe mm-hmm. together. You know, at the family functions, you're gonna see them. We all want to be kiki keen, laughing like what mm. the hell. I find that actually no. really I think I find that kind of I find that so annoying I can't even lie like when you bring somebody around and then they're just anti-social I find it kind of rude you know what personally. it is I, no, I get that it, it can be rude but at the same time it depends on the dynamics and it depends on the situation because let's say like they it's, it's the first second time they they've been involved like they've just gotten to know like the situation they're just meeting you guys for that like, the yeah. second time they might not be 100 percent comfortable but what i don't get is the whole like not trying eventually that's it like, like i'll say try. yeah that's yeah that's, what, that's what she's try. getting at yeah yeah because like, some, some people, some people don't try mission. yeah mm-hmm. you have to try i'm sorry because if you're gonna you know i was just gonna, gonna say some people keep like their distance and it's evident like when it's almost like okay mm-hmm. when you're with the guy it's like oh it's all it's all fun and games but then as soon as he comes into the mix he's there and he's just, he's just looking really, angry to be like, around he's, trying, he's just trying to look cool like what are you trying to look cool for just like, be yourself I mean, like just be free i think so making true. that effort also making that effort with a girl's friends will also put you in her good books like obviously if you're doing it the right way like if you're showing respect for her friends like especially cause i can't lie yeah when us three are together it's a vibe like you wouldn't even not catch yourself laughing you'll probably be laughing let's be re- let's be real that's so, why that's why i don't get it like how so, can he not be but i do agree with you Temi, on the point where not all um not all like girls are blessed to have a friendship whereby they have that trust and they have that respect they have that boundary, the, that boundary where they can even bring their man into them it's like some girls have friends who are judgmental like you'll bring they'll bring their man like around them and then and they won't make them feel comfortable. Well, yeah, they'll just they'll just have that that vibe, that That's energy true. where it's like, oh, is this what he looks like? This is what he's wearing. 
Oh, his shoes. And then that would make him feel uncomfortable. Like, well, right, exactly. Him if he's not trying and to he's not going to want to be around that again. You know? Why should I even want to be he's... your friend if that's the kind of girl that you are, to be honest? Mm. I don't get that one. But that leads Very beautifully onto the second topic of like, basically I said, imagine a scenario now where you've got plans with your, well, you, you've been brought plans by your girls and you've also been brought plans by your man and you have to pick one, obviously. How would you go about that one? How, what's going on? Let's, oh, that is difficult. Mm-hmm. Let's be real here. I'm going to be, I'll start. I don't mind. I, I, yeah, you can start. Yeah, you, you start. start. You go. I can't lie, yeah. When I'm in that zone, that romantical zone. I know what you're going to say. I will definitely pick the plans with my man, can't lie. Okay. And it's not even on the tip of like, <laughs> I'm picking him over them. I genuinely believe, especially maybe even when it's just the beginning of a relationship or something like along those lines. The right, exactly. At that time, it's a B, it's a B. And I feel like my <laughs> girls would understand. I can't lie to you. Oh, yes. No. Okay. Do you know what it is with me? Everything is about context. Because I've yeah, been definitely. in those situations before. It's all about context. It's all yeah. about context. Because it depends. Like, if he's someone that... If it's someone that I've just got into a relationship with, at the end of the day, like, I'll see if we can switch up the plans or if the girls can, like, postpone the date. Like, I'll try of and course, do different yeah. things. I can attend mm-hmm, right, yeah, yeah. But if, it, and it depends what the event is. If it's something that we can do on a different day. Do you know what I mean? It depends on so many mm-hmm. things. Like, I wouldn't want to choose one or the other because I'll try and spread myself as much as I can for both sides. Do you know what I'm saying? So it highly depends on what the event is. Like, for example, if your man is trying to invite you to a wedding, like, let's yeah. say there's a wedding happening and you're his guest or you're, yeah, you're bringing, like, you're his guest that you're bringing and then your girl's like, what, what's happening? Like, it's your girl's birthday on the same day. That is hey! That's a great, that's a phenomenal yeah, scenario. Yeah, that's a really good scenario. What do you so do? What, which one do you pick in that instance then? Do you know what it's I'll go to both. Thing. I'm going to both, same. I'm, I'm going to my, both. Girl, okay. I'm going I'm to my going girl's to... birthday first because a birthday yeah. is probably going to end earlier than a wedding. Do you get what I'm saying? Wedding, That's what I would yeah. think about it. I'll be like, and I'll oh, and I'll 100% make it up to my girl after. Like, we'll go out, we'll do something mm-hmm. after, but mm-hmm. I'll still try and be at the birthday. I'll, I'll show her I've made the effort to come. In However, that context, 100%. Now. Scenario where I said I would pick him, I'll give you the scenario I'm thinking of, yeah. So, say for instance, well, he's planned a date, but then me and the girls have planned to hang out, like at one of you girls' houses or my house. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we can hang out another day. And that's what I will say. I'll say, yeah, we can mm. hang out another day. But when you bring in the scenario Temi is brought, that makes that's a perfect scenario because it's like, are, yeah, I, I could never ditch my girls on a birthday. And it depends how long it's been in the works and the planning. Like, mm. if it's something that's been like we've been planning for ages me and the girls i'm gonna try and switch up so that maybe i can do it another day with the with my man like, do you know what i mean mm-hmm. like it all depends and i think as well a birthday's too it's too special to me. not to not attend your yeah, girl's birthday oh but then let's make something to the mix what if your girl has the same birthday as your man <gasps> oh please <laughs> that's my worst nightmare it's never happened to us before but what has it? Doing? No, it hasn't. What, if what my we, man has the same birthday as one of you girls, I'll be so I'll sad. I'll cry. I'll cry. In fact, let's do because great every party. year great that's party. a birthday every year and every year that's gonna be continuous. <laughs> we might as well have a joint party, everybody. Or even even like a day after each other. It's just weird, man. Close. It's weird. I don't know. Okay, what so I what do you do in that instance then? Actually, you, what I love. Actually, what would you do? Actually, what would you do in that instance? Okay, let's give this. Okay, so say if like they both have a surprise party, right? Okay. Okay. The, the part, my partner, and one of you two. Okay. Um. That's <laughs> that is because now as a man, he's gonna be like, "I'm your man." Yeah. Even in your uh, heart, you. thinking, even in your heart, thinking, you'll be like, "That's Ashley's my man." Gonna, Ashley's gonna be thinking, "Yeah, he's my man." <laughs> Okay, no, okay, wait. In all honesty, knowing the person I am, I think I would be there for my man like she as would. soon as he walks through the door for his surprise. Mm. And, and, then then, and then I would stay and then I would go to you guys's yeah. when the party has already started. So I would miss the entrance. 
Jesus. That makes I, me want to You cry. know what? I, I probably <laughs> would be the same. I can't lie to you. Same. <laughs> because really and really, this is where, you know, there's certain aspects of the, this conversation and certain aspects of this scenario where you have to ask, am I marrying my girls or my man? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And think about it. I feel like men pride themselves on that kind of stuff. Like, imagine make them feel it's... good about themselves. Yeah, yeah like no, put, put yourself, no. put yourself like in a man's position. Like imagine him not knowing what he's doing for his birthday, and he walks through the entrance, and then all his boys are there, his friends, his you family, have his mom, you're not his dad, and then you're not there. Like, what's actually going and on? And I feel like as a friend, if that was me, if one of you guys told me, I'm not gonna lie. I would hundred percent. So fine with it. I know you're saying the fact that you still made the effort and you still came to my birthday after, like, even though you weren't there for the surprise, it's calm because I would do the same. Same. Mm -hmm. Same. Let's Let's be be real because we're not the type of girls to cry about something like that and be like, "Oh, you're so." Do you know how? Exactly. How could you not? That's what I'm saying. I feel like we have that understanding. So. We'd even be trying to come after our own birthday. We'll come and try and join the other one. (laughs) Exactly. A point I was just going to quickly make was. I feel like this is also dependent on age because when we were younger, we also knew the relationship was a different type of relationship. Okay. And I would, I can understand why when you're younger, a girl would take it more to offense when her girl doesn't show up for her versus yeah, I was gonna say that. now when we're older. Yeah. Because obviously now this is more, I don't want to keep bringing up marriage, but we're more serious in our relationships. And mm-hmm. the person you're going to be with in like a year or two times, probably potentially going to be the re- like be- you're going to probably be with them for the rest of your life. Mm. So- and knowing me as well, like when I was younger, I definitely would have taken offense. Like, <laughs> oh, for sure. But- Even when people couldn't come to my birthday for good reason, I was still offended. Yeah, I feel like that, that, they chose that makes sense that, because see it that way. That yeah. makes sense because we were younger, so we're probably thinking you don't like you. Yeah, you guys aren't even that serious. I when you're sure. younger, I personally think friendships are more important than that. I can't lie to you. Like, I agree. Like, mm, yes, creating solidified friendships. Like, I think that's how you come out with like a very level head when you're grown and you then get into relationship. When you're only focusing on man, 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 you have struggling relationships with your friends. Yeah, there's a time when you're when older, the there's a time. For that, so that's true, and I feel like you become less tr- trustworthy because if you can't be there for your friends when they need you, they and it's now you them? get older and it's like you haven't because you didn't put the effort in to build those solid foundations when you were younger mm. to carry throughout you know your teenage into your adult years, mm. it's now I feel like that's when it becomes a bit shaky okay. and tricky. Yeah, yeah, and then you look like egg because the person you've probably been sacrificing for, you're not with no more. Where he at? Oh, we've got another. I've got another one that's gonna just shake the <laughs> table a little bit. Basically, yes. So now we said we wanted our friend, our man, to be friends with our girls. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now, say for instance, they're now friends, which means sometimes friends they fall out. What's happening? As in, so, so wait, wait, wait. You know when you say friends fall out, do you mean me and the friend, or the friend and my man? The friends your and friend your, your man. Your man. Hey. <laughs> what are they falling? What are my friends? What are they falling okay, out? That's a good point. That's a good point. Because I'm okay. not gonna lie. That when I say you, my friends and my man can be friends. You know, for you to be falling out with someone, you have to be very familiar with them. That's what true. conversations are you having when I'm not there that you're falling out? No, okay, I can give you a scenario. No, but imagine if you're there okay, go and then an argument it gets tense and then you start and then you realize the friend and the man, they start your man, they're starting to argue. Like over, like what if they're upset I'm going, I'm over going to something? I'm going the situation. Guys, you're both here for me. So let's go back to that. That's what I was going to say. What if the situation is that they're both annoyed, right, at themselves mm-hmm. because they're fighting for you? So say, for instance, she's seen a way he's doing something and she's not impressed. And then he's Which like, Which is very common in, in friendships. Yeah, and, so, like, and, then, and then he's like, oh, well, I'm her man. Like, I know what I'm talking about type of vibes. So what, what happens there? Like, what do you do? You know, the first thing I've thought of in that situation, I've tried to put myself in a situ- in the position of the friend. Mm-hmm. If that was the case, if I was the type of friend that's telling my friend's man that you're not doing this, you're not doing that, knowing myself, eventually I'll fall back because at the end of the day, if my friend tells me she's truly happy, I can't be really falling out with her man like that because... I don't know how to explain it. Do you I know get what you. No, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, I don't think, I don't, with the type of person you are, I feel like you wouldn't 
put yourself in a position where it creates Wait, I'm tension between the all three of you. Yeah, you wouldn't now go directly to the guy. You and know what I mean? Like, and at the end of the day, you'll start beefing and and who's to say that the who's to say like they don't start falling out then because of me? Because that can cause the both of them to start falling out when you're not there. Mm, yeah. like, I don't want to be the source of your argument. That's a lot That's for true. me. So if like, anything, if I yeah. No, I was just gonna say, and in line with you, it's like I think there's also a certain boundary that comes in when when a couple are having a beef like if there's an issue between them i definitely think there's some sort of distance you can't be in the mix up too tough like oh, you can't yeah. put yourself in because i am for me i can't lie i'm a very protective friend okay so if oh, i yeah. know the guy and i know and then that's my girl there's a part of me that's going to want to but yeah, but there's, also, a, yeah. there's a difference between wanting to and, and doing, doing it exactly mm. but i would have to catch myself i can't lie because i do think that's something you two have to sort out on your own i can advise oh, yeah. and show love from the outside but there's a there's a certain point where it gets to where you shouldn't interfere i think yeah you shouldn't involve yourself and that's why they say as well like when you are having issues in a relationship that you shouldn't say everything to your friends because yeah, you, you know. can you can forgive your man but your friends exactly. will always like side eye him you know exactly. that's mm-hmm. what's going on they're here. not in the situation with you so they can't right. say everything that happens so mm-hmm. they're, just gonna, they're just feeding off what you've told them mm. not exactly. all the time so of course that's so true and this is all contextual of course because it depends on situ- situations like if there's obviously a very toxic situation happening i can't lie I'm the type of friend. It's so wraps. It's over. We're gonna sort this out, but it's over. It's, if it's toxic, it's over. Okay. Like if it's toxic, it's really over. I can't lie to you, but that's obviously in an extreme, no, extreme circumstance. Like I definitely think I I I think of my friends as very wise people. Like they know what they're doing, so they're gonna handle it. Like and it's okay. It's okay. And also, can I just clarify as well? <laughs> yeah. When you guys are saying friends plural like friends with your man it's not every single one of my female oh, friends no. that are gonna be oh no no darling no 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 <laughs> come on i don't want people to get confused like, I think okay that's so where, my question that's a good, good point though wrong, actually like, my question mean, after saying that sorry, what you just said oh. my question to you is so what what's what makes what's what differentiates what the qualifies friends? Mm. What qualify? What what sort of friends? What f- sort of friends will qualify to be able to have that relationship with your man? What's the difference between? I feel oh, like P, I feel like girls know. We know. We know. Some no, girls what? don't what know. Do we know? Like, like, do like, for example, some girls like, don't me, know. Yeah. I can't lie. No what? Me, no what? No what? No what? Like the the girls that I consider family. Mm. Mm. You just like, there's some girls. There's some girls that I'm close with. I'm cool with. We key 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 ha ha ha. But if I if if already I can't confide in you and tell you like oh, oh what's point. going on behind closed doors, then I already know that you're someone I'm not gonna be. And it's not because oh you my man might cheat with you, da, 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 but it's just if we don't have that sisterhood already, why am I now gonna bring you into yeah yeah why am I now gonna make an effort or bring you into the environment that we haven't even established Public. ourselves? Yeah, yeah if we're not on that I, level. Then why would yeah. you be on that level, with my man? I feel you, but then exactly. that's what I'm saying. The reason why I'm I'm kind of like saying, "Tell me, I see what you're saying," because there's some girls, for instance, in your life that might think when the day comes, that what day? No, well, just because you, you think doesn't man. mean that's what's gonna happen, baby. So, say for instance, there's some girls in some girls' friendships, right? When no, the man, no, 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 no. Don't when the man, me. when the man comes in, it they think, "Oh yeah, that's my boy." Yeah, but then it's like, no, 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 no. Oh. no? Oh no! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no, I you said there's definitely there's definitely levels to it. I can't lie to you. I that's what you call. That's what you call madness, in my opinion. Because why would that's you not think boy. You know because to think, oh yeah. That's not your boy, you know, still. Mm. I personally think, right, if you're too eager even to want to be his friend, I think that's a bit the way. Like, it should be yeah. natural. Like, you shouldn't be there like... Oh. Wow. Oh. Because I can't oh. imagine... My, th- th- every time I talk about these situations, I put myself in that shoe. I can't imagine being the friend that's begging it to my friend's man. For what? 
Yeah. I feel like, yeah, it's quite embarrassing, I can't lie. If we, if we vibe, I feel like you, vibe, you should have some shame. Vibe. And sometimes friends, I mean, sometimes two people won't get, not even because it's beef, but it's because compa- um, personalities aren't compatible. And that's all right. Like, it's okay. Mm-hmm. It, not everybody. Like, a bit, everybody it's friends. not even off topic or anything. Just the okay. last, whatever. Yeah, last yeah. point. It is kind of on the same topic, but how do you guys feel about um, your man having a female best friend? You know what, yeah? My opinion has changed so much on this topic in the last couple of, like, years, months. What's happened? My opinion's changed, boy. I used to be the... Yeah, same. I used to be the... I used to be the wave... The, what's it called? The flag waver for, yeah? You can have as many female friends as he likes. Whoa, and now, whoa, whoa. And now... Same. I still think he can have female friends. I said best friend. I oh, yeah, she knows she can't be your best friend. Of course they friend. can have female friends. But they, she can't. She can't be your best friend, I've decided now. That's my opinion as of today. What about you? You know what, I, I actually agree with you because um, <laughs> not, we're not saying female friends, best friends. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not crazy. Because I have a lot of guy friends, do you know what I'm saying? So I get it. Exactly. <laughs> Firstly, I'm your best friend. Let's stop there. <laughs> And secondly, the reason why I say no is because I had a male best friend I ended up dating him. Same so, period! So, we're not doing that. Round here. Yeah! I'm not going to lie to no. you. Guys, can I say something yet? Yeah. Reels. <laughs> Reels. That's period. I can't we lie to you. We ain't doing it round here. I Actually, that's a so. period. That's a period. That's just dead on No, we just have Sorry. to be transparent and authentic here. Real. You know, you just have yeah. to be honest. Come on. You know Come on, tell is? me. What is it? What is it? With what is me, it? I've actually mm. been in that situation. I'm actually, I'm still against it, but unfortunately, like, not unfortunately, funnily enough, how ironic, yeah? I've been in that situation before, but I was lucky enough to, to be with people, like-minded people that have their, their head screwed on because the female best friend, when she obviously saw that I'm in his life now and you know things are going well and she saw that things could get serious or whatever she had sense because she wasn't pushy she was still the best friend but she she calmed down a bit you know mm-hmm. what I mean like me and her were cool and everything and I'm I don't know how I know but I'm sure like I've done my research I'm sure that nothing's happening that they're actually just best friends or whatever but she mm-hmm. done what I would do if I was a best friend of someone so I take a step back yeah no, she for was real. so respectful for real. Situation. I told so, you on that unfortunately not everyone is like that majority of the whole man best friend situation they're never with they never come with the situation i was involved with mm-hmm. so mm. I, if i was to have it again i probably wouldn't trust another situation of my man having a best friend because i think that one i came across was one of a kind probably never gonna happen again mm. to link on to your point it's about the type of female because i'm not going to lie to you yeah there are many guys that they're able to have a completely neutral platonic i'm not gonna lie there is i have guy friends in my life that are like that like and when they have a girl i'm not gonna the relationship is going to change 100 percent. but i do and you understand that 100, yeah. i'm not gonna cry do you know what i mean but i think what the problem is is it's a sticky one it's just a slope because i do think especially the type of female that you are if you're a very emotionally attached type of female and a man gets a girl sometimes your emotions get a bit way. So, yeah, no, that is that exact example is true at the end of the day but it's still your responsibility to get yourself together 100 percent. at the end of the day he's now in a relationship you were never marrying him to begin with he was always gonna go nice. you also you need to check your heart to be honest check why you're so offended i can't lie because yeah, i do think the reason deep it, down as to why you yeah. why you're not giving you attention where, where it's coming from yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. coming from just the innocent place cool but you're still responsible to deal with that he's not your dad he's not your sibling he's not going to be there <laughs> That's the he's not your dad no, in some true. cases he might be the sibling yeah, cool. It might be the sibling, but at the same time, the sibling is going to go ahead. Like with my brother, he's going to marry a girl one day. He can't always be there for him. Once That's he right. has his own family, That's what am I right. supposed to be doing? I can't just be mm. working on him every random day. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? He's There's a lot of emotional intelligence and wisdom needed in such situations because I'm yeah, not gonna lie yet. I did say my opinion has changed, but I do also need to be real with myself. I'm also. I don't mind, do you know what I mean? Because I'm not the type of person to dictate what type of friend you have. I can't lie. It's, I'm not going to lie. I'm a very pushy person. I can be pushy, but I also realise your life is your life. I don't want to be your mum. 
as much as I'm a very nurturing person, I don't want to be your mom. So if you if you really have a female best friend from before you got in a relationship with me, calm. Like I can't. I'm not gonna. What am I gonna do? Yeah. What am I yeah. Gonna there's do nothing you can do about it. I want to trust you enough that you you you're gonna use your initiative and the both of you are gonna work things out. I don't have to be the one to be telling you why she's calling you at three. You should know that. But then that's the thing. I feel like that's where that's, oh, where that's communication. Hard. That's where communication comes in mm. because I feel like why some girls find themselves in that situation where their best friend is overstepping is maybe because like they feel not scared, but they don't want to like seem like they're, like they're being controlling or anything. Yeah. So I feel like that's where communication plays a massive part. Where I feel that's like true. you and the guy can sit down and be like, okay, look. Um, this, this is, is my really friend, cool. nothing's yeah. ever happened. That like you have to, I feel like there was, I remember watching a, um, uh, I think it was like a segment from The Real, and um, it was Adrian, and she said that before she even got married, you have to ask the uncomfortable questions. Because otherwise, you either have to be comfortable with not knowing, or things just go, go through the relationship and just know and be able to have that solid trust. trust sorry. Mm-hmm. Because I do think it's very interesting that we're saying, uh, when if then he gets into a relationship and he has got a girl best friend, then things are going to change. They're, they're, I personally think if the relationship is that is that platonic, then it should be natural that things are going to change. But the fact that we even have to make that disclaimer goes to show that a lot of the time, when a man has a female best friend, it's a bit, it's a bit more than exactly, and, and not even in a bad way because sometimes it, the bond is mad. But it's like the fact that we have to say that goes to show that sometimes it's, it's something, you it's know, just something else. Sorry, I have one last question now. Go for it. We've got um, a couple seconds. Uh, this is for, this is for the guys watching now. Okay. So imagine now, what if your man was to say to you, I don't feel comfortable with you being friends. You mean with that, With Not even just the girl, like girls and male. Let's say it's a male friend. Say oh. they say to you, okay. I don't feel comfortable with you being friends with that, that guy. What now? A guy says that to me. <laughs> A guy says that to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, your partner. I'm dating. Yeah, your partner. No, you're like he's actually your boyfriend. My partner. Now. Oh, okay. Somebody, so somebody I've been friends with, probably to like someone I've been friends with since like I was young. Let's say, and then you know, maybe yeah, like maybe you've been friends with for a couple. No, years. That, that doesn't ma- that doesn't make sense because yeah. I've known them longer than you. Would not had issues, so you can't come in my life and tell me you have issues. I'm gonna ask you that. Is it Why? deep down threatened? Okay, but yeah. saying that he provides like a a, a good reason. What's a good reason? Okay, so um. I remember seeing this tweet and the guy said in the tweet there's some girls the male friends that you have haven't made a move on you because you haven't given them the opportunity so in the sense where if the opportunity arose like say if you were to say to some of your male friends today do you know what I like you da, 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 would they oh, turn around and say to you no we're friends or would they jump on the opportunity and be like yeah let's do it let's unfortunately i feel like maybe a majority of them would jump to the opportunity that's, that's what i'm saying dramatic in itself and that's exactly that's what i'm saying so imagine now your partner comes to you and says you know what i don't like how he is around like he's too not touchy feely but he like he doesn't respect the boundaries that i don't Wait, let's pause to answer it. We'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> I got you guys. Okay, so we're about to answer the question Ashley grabbed us by the throat with now. Yeah, there's a male friend and he sees that your male friend is overstepping his boundaries. He's not respecting okay. your relationship. Right. Okay, cool. And he's not, so he's not, okay, I don't want to say he's asking you to stop being friends with him. But he's just asking you to put some distance. Okay, so okay. I get that. I know, like, can I answer first? Because I'm quite <laughs> an understanding person, like I'm not gonna lie, if I see where this guy is coming from, yeah, if same. I feel like maybe this lie. male friend is does take the piss and it's like he doesn't respect my relationship, I get where he's coming from. In terms of cutting the person off forever, it's, it might be a bit of a like it's maybe it's a bit too much of a big drastic thing to do, but I will consider what he's saying i'll take it on board and i'll mm. probably have to have a conversation with my male friend and be like bro like yo this is what's going on Except now I, you know, I'm, in, I'm in a relationship mm. so we need to sort of like put some distance there but it, i think it's a bit crazy though that i wouldn't 
think to have done that without my man having to tell that's me. true yeah because that's the thing i do think that at the stage i am in my life now too i don't i'm not gonna lie when you're young you kind of entertain that kind of rubbish but then when yeah. you get to a certain age it's like it's actually kind of it's not now you're going to be serious it's like, bad like in fact the fact that that kind of stuff that kind of tension is lingering over your relationships with guys is not good i personally think so it's, and if it's coming from you as well yeah oh exactly so i think for, for me it's more about how he comes about the the it's how you conduct the conversation with me True. to be honest i'm the type of person where it's like my man over everything i can't lie like in terms of our relationship i'll put that over like this disrespect that you might be feeling like i, I care about your feelings you know i mean so yeah come and brought something to me i even like it when guys express their feelings and they express it properly not in the dominating ways that oh just because yeah just to feed their ego yeah like oh, i'm yes, right yes. so you have to do it and yeah. i'm so glad you even brought up that point to me that like as us women we know like when there's certain male friends that you know that like for example when you post a certain when you post certain yeah when you post pictures or videos mm-hmm. Snapchat, like, they're, they're the first one to respond we know we- we know. Can I like, say something? To all the girls out there, listen. Who are the we? Who are the we? You, all the women out there, listen to me, girls, women. Let's talk on the real. Who are the we? Who are the we? Know. We, know. we know. We know when a man, we know when a guy is onto us, majority of the time. Obviously, there can be times where we are now. I agree. That we don't know. I agree. I agree. But majority 100%, of the time, I agree. We know. We know. We can act like, no, nah, he's not. You know, he is. Oh, he's my friend. You know. Oh, because because you feel like you always shut it down. But just because you shut it down doesn't mean that it's shut down for them. More time, you're not even shutting it down. Let's be real with the girls on the other side of this camera. Let's be real, okay? That's on period. Everybody like, like it. yo. Everybody like that feeling i can't like it's a nice feeling is it a healthy one no i'm sorry you what is don't, it guys? don't entertain a guy when you're in a relationship oh my gosh is it, forget a relationship if you know that this thing is not going anywhere don't entertain nobody i don't believe in that i don't yeah we don't but, like we don't i'm not gonna lie it, ha- it happens in it it happens if you're single and you're doing it it's a bit it's it gets to the rest of us it's it different. does look at Terry, <laughs> it's guys, different. especially in quarantine right now every people get yourself together get together like it's different if not <laughs> but if you're in a relationship cut it out man. cut it mm-hmm. out cut it but, out you um, don't want to be tempted you don't want to get yourself it's in not it's not allowed it's really not allowed cut it out but you know actually to answer that question to be fair it's it's a fair thing to bring up in a relationship and it's a thing that should be listened to the same yeah, way if I we think it's, felt that sorry, way a friend in his life we would bring it up and we would exactly that's what i was literally about to say that like if it was vice versa and us now if we see that there's a female friend that you know is not really respecting her position in his life i would i would say something do you know what i mean like i'm not gonna sit there uncomfortable and watch it and look like a wet wipe i'm gonna say something and that's why i would respect it and I don't think there should be like a double standard. Almost, no, not, you know? at all. not at all. And that's yeah, why you know I brought it up. To, he should be able to say when he feels some sort of way. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Exactly. He should, and he should get out here. As women, let's be careful not to throw it back in their faces in the sense where it becomes like not necessarily a defensive thing, but it becomes a thing where it's all about oh you're insecure or you're dis- yeah we disregard what they're saying and their feelings. We even made a whole podcast episode on being dismissive about men's mental health because a lot of the time, right, it takes a lot for a man to say, okay, this is actually making me uncomfortable. I can't like, yeah. you. and if he does, don't see it as oh you're wet or you're moist or oh 100%. what are you talking about. Like actually respect him because the same way, girls have. A lot of energy. When a girl is in a guy's life and she's not feeling it, she's got energy for days, and she'll tell him from tomorrow to, to tomorrow. But when a guy, a guy, guys, I've noticed are even more chill about stuff like that. To be honest, let's be real. They are it's only when it's like something when it's actually they can see the disrespect and it's right under yeah. their nose, right under everybody's nose. That's when it's a bit and it is disrespectful. I agree. It is disrespectful. So mm. they deserve I that. Agree. Right. Exactly. Boy. I was gonna tie it back into our topic of like the loyalty thing over ma- um your man and your girls because obviously we're talking about oh, yeah it ties into it, that it ties into it but it's like say for instance the the friend say for instance how do I even say this because now I'm, I'm lost I had it in my head just now but it was like okay say for instance the people that are being are compromising your relationship are two people close to you or like say for instance it's your man and your friend. I don't know how to explain that. Mm. Your man and your friend that are what? That are getting too close for comfort. Oh! Because then it's like, 
Whoa there. Who do you pick? That's the loyalty thing. Who are you picking? What do you mean pick? What do you mean pick? Because then it's like, how do you deal with... They get, you mean like them to... Yeah, actually... <laughs> Excuse me? What do you... I don't get what you... What you're what you <laughs> saying right now. I, think I love that. Put the glasses on because... I would get mine, but they're far away. <sighs> Basically... <laughs> Let, no, let scenario, I would like get yeah. the question. The scenario, yeah, let me hear what she has to the say. scenario Ashley me. gave was okay. Say, for instance, your guy, your, your man is noticing there's a guy friend in your life that's overly friendly, right? With, mm-hmm. you, with you. And he's like, okay. And then obviously we've, we've said what we're going to do. But then, say, for instance, it's your man that's overly friendly with your friend. Hello? Or your friend is being overly friendly with your man. Okay, so basically, say it's okay, cool, I get it. So, <laughs> my girl is being overly friendly with my man. With my man. Right, let me put these glasses back up. Because it's serious. Yeah. Because <laughs> it happens, isn't it? It happens. It happens. You know what? That's a good way. That's a, that's a twist in the conversation. Mm. Because, huh? I know. Because then now, the, in- the introduction of disloyalty is from your friend's side or from your man's side. Can I say something? Like in situations like that, I can be very hot-headed. They can both go for real. Sick. Are you sick? Are they both sick? Yeah. <laughs> I think, personally, I would... Live life together. <laughs> I'm not coming between your fairy tale. <laughs> you want to be very I would, nonsense. I would you? approach the friend first. You think so? Not the man? Yeah. I feel like because because of how we've explained, like, oh, you know, our sisterhood our friend, friend, and that we're not gonna just bring around any random friend. Yeah. Like, I don't wanna if I value the fr- our friendship and if I, I cherish our friendship, I would like sit you down and be like, look, you know what, like I'm not really cool with this. Da, 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 da. Too much I don't actually too much, I would approach them both on separate yeah. like, not together. I would approach not, them both on separate. Yeah, because yeah. It, it ain't me. I'm sorry. I'm Which one would it. hurt more is more the question, I think. Which one would hurt more? I think it hurt oh, more I think it was from both my hurt, friend you know. more than Yeah, I would, say, I would say the friend. Only the because bad. I feel like you know the kind of person that I am. First You've known me this. a lot longer than this. Yeah. Like, this so for you to think life. you can do that and get away with it, you're sick. <laughs> you, it's, it's mental. I think it's just coming to terms with, oh my God, this whole time, this is what you had in you and we were friends. Like. Yeah. And that's why a lot of the time, the question of exactly. should your friend be friends with your man comes up because then it's like, yeah. uh, that is but a this potential. Is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If you're trying to, if, like, if you have a friend, if any of us have a, has a friend right now and we're not, like, we, we would say that friend is very close to us, but we wouldn't bring our man around that friend. We need to d- dig deep and see if that friend is Because why can't That's you so bring true. your friend around you? Why can't you bring your man around your friend? Because what? <clears throat> like, they're going to feel... You shouldn't... It shouldn't... You shouldn't have friendships like that. Because... Yeah, exactly. That's it, very toxic. Because then it it's is. a passive-aggressive friendship. What the hell And it's also... It seems like a competitive friendship. Because, you know, sometimes you hear about them friendships where a guy... So, for instance, your girls will express to you, oh, okay, there's this guy that I've seen, blah, he's cute. And then the girl will go and add him on Snapchat, go and add him, follow him on Instagram, go and be... I've, oh my god! Yeah, not, have I mean, you not heard of stuff like that? Yeah. I've, I've saw, why do why do you, why that they do that? That is I've weird behavior. On the TL actually, it's and it was scary. just like it was very scary because it's like it's every, scary. every man that she brought around her friend, it was like they just got a bit too friendly and they got a bit too like I've been in that situation before. But even though this was a, a lot younger, like, I was a lot younger at that stage. We were like what seventeen. 18 ish and i started to see that in the friendship and it was a bit weird for me especially mm. like being younger as well I, I started to pick up little things and honestly unfortunately i had to end the friendship because of that because i'm not there for that our friendship shouldn't be a competition i shouldn't have to think twice before, before bringing a guy i'm seeing around you what kind of yeah. friendship is that correct and that's just it i think what we in summary i think what we've essentially said is friendship is very important i think a lot of people sleep on friendship nowadays where it's like everybody wants to be in a relationship so 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 much but it's like having a solid friendship with your girls it's so is important. very important Jeez. and it will help you even in when you come to future relationships by god's grace but what's important is establishing that circle and actually having mm-hmm. people you can trust around you 100%. um yeah and p- and no, I agree. Of the guy you pick as well, the selection of that is very important too. And, and if you and have, if you're attracting, and if you're attracting certain types of guys, 
look within sometimes i'm not gonna lie Some, sometimes you have to take <laughs> no 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 honestly because i've had situations where it's like oh my god i'm attracting certain types of guys and sometimes as women we don't want to take responsibility as to what we're attracting yeah wow. we can't control these things mm-hmm. you, you need to look within i, I remember agree with that. Point, i had that i had a situation where i'm like god why am i attracting certain i had to look within i wasn't myself do you know what I mean? That's why. Yeah. That's a very I was like, wow. I started working on myself. I started like to fix myself. Look within. I was self-aware. That's the word. Self-aware. When we I became talk about aware that. of who I was, yeah. guess what? I started attracting people that are like-minded. And mm-hmm. that's deep, you know. Because deep. I think one time I think you said this to me, Temi, that in school, like no one, I, I didn't attract anybody. <laughs> but it's Bye. funny now. It's funny now because Temi told me one time where. I think the reason why you wasn't attracting guys in school is because they knew what you stood for. Like, even though, okay, yeah, for instance, they may not have thought you was pretty either, but they also knew they couldn't mess you about type of vibes. And, that's, and at that age, at that age, that's all they wanted to do. That's, and when she said that to me... Who was, ready to get, who was ready to settle down in secondary school? True. And then... At, no one. <laughs> evidently me. Well, not them. But... Um, <laughs> But no, I think that's a good point though, because you'll notice there are a lot of girls that might not get the conventional on the on in their normal settings, getting attention everywhere that they go. But it's like that's not a bad because of the because of how they carry themselves. There's certain people that can't approach you because of how you carry yourself. Of course, you can't control it. There's some guys who try anyway. But once they see what you're on, what you stand for, what you represent, seeing that I'm a no nonsense type of person, I don't have time for that. You're not going to attract. A, a stupid guy you and know? Think, you even for girls too there are some girls that will never approach you because they know that you're not that type of, you're not rubbish you're not, you know what I mean? like you're not you're a not gossiping not. type of babe you're not like and you want to set those kind of standards for yourself you want to walk into a room and be able to handle conversations with people and then know okay this is not a girl you play with you want to know they, that's yeah. what you should be exactly saying. Yeah. because then the say, co- if you give them if you give them that kind of vibe, like, if you give them that kind of vibe, like, yeah, maybe I'm that kind of person I can entertain it, like, you never know. <laughs> Why mm-hmm. would they want to take their chances? Exactly. And then you, you you shield yourself from situations where you have to even have to pick over your man and your friends because there's already, there's already solid stuff going on in yeah, your life. in place, yeah. Where you, yeah. I agree. It starts with yourself, really, and truly. It does. And it flows I out. agree with both of you. Accountability is a really, it's a big it's thing. So important. Not and by like, the way, guys, it's not to say. Sorry, sorry, it's not to say accountability, accountability and responsibility in the in the sense where not to say that oh my god we're entirely in control of the people that talk to us. Not in that sense. No, no, no. Just no. like just look within. Just look within as to the sort of people that you attract. Like yeah. that's mm-hmm. a thing. That is entirely a thing. One hundred percent. Exactly. And look you within to say, see. Oh yeah, Ashley, you were going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. No. no, I think just to t- tag on to what Temi said, look within about the type, how your friendships always seem to turn out to, like mm-hmm. if your friendships always seem to just be crumbling, or there always seems to be a problem, and it's every There's friendship. Like, you have people that always have issues with every friendship, are they not aware that they might be the issue sometimes? Mm-hmm. I don't think they see it like that, but I think that's a, yeah. actually a good topic for another video still. Yeah, that's we'll true. Yeah, that is actually really at uh, home, oh. and that's what I'm saying. Like a lack of accountability will make you see things in a way that's actually just wrong. Hmm. You'll be 100%. doing self pity party, self pity party for the rest of your life. And guess what? Realize. There's never going to be a solution to the issue because you're the solution. You just don't know it yet. Hmm. And you know what? That's where we're ending today's podcast. And on that so, note, just the Christian. Thank you, Pastor Temi Allen. Bye. Putting out her government in the in on the distant. Oh wait, that's uh, her Twitter. Sorry. That's her Twitter. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. oh, What's yeah. my Twitter? Sorry. <laughs> your, your name? Because she said, oh, "Thank you, Pastor Temi Allen." I was like, "Don't put her government out there." Oh, oh, you put it down. Oh, it's it's Temi Allen, girl. Everyone knows my name. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. Like, it's me, darling. What you see is what it you is get. It is what it is. Everybody. It is what it is. I'm crying. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. Thank you oh, so much guys for watching. Time. It was a very enjoyable conversation. Me too. Everybody, drop your your discussion points in the comments. We want to gist with you, okay? Obviously. Um, I hope you guys stay till the end too. You better like the video, (laughs) share the video, comment, like, like, do all the needful, and we will see you when we see our next episode. Yes. Bye. Bye.